President Akufuado says Ghana is safe and secured under the government despite threats of terrorism and violent extremism in the West African sub-region. In his 2024 State of the Nation address to Parliament, President Akufuado assured that Ghana's territorial integrity cannot be taken for granted. City News' Sisni Ayikwin Okain has more in the following report. President Akufuado, in accordance with the Constitution, presented a State of the Nation address to Parliament on Tuesday. President Ikufuado in his address touted that the Office of the Attorney General has saved the country over 10 trillion Ghana cities by avoiding judgment debts. The Attorney General has continued in a very effective manner the tradition under this administration of contesting every single litigation against the state and has avoided the numerous judgment debts that used to be given against the state. The Office of the Attorney General, as a result, has saved the country over 10 trillion Ghana cities. With the growing insurgency in the West African sub-region, President Ikufuado in his State of the Nation address to Parliament on Tuesday has assured that Ghana's territory is safe and secured under the government. Mr. Speaker, I'm glad to be able to report that the entire territory that makes up our nation is safe, secure, and under the control of the government and people of Ghana. This might sound like a pedestrian statement with which to start a message on the state of the nation. Unfortunately, far from it being an everyday truism, this is no longer a statement or claim that can be easily made in these times in the neighborhood in which we are. West Africa is under threat of terrorism and violent extremism rapidly spreading southwards from the Sahel to coastal West Africa. We can no longer take the territorial integrity of our countries for granted. Indeed, many of our neighbors have already fallen victim and lost large portions of their territories to extremist groups. And Ghana, by the grace of the Almighty, is the only coastal state along the Gulf of Guinea that has so far not recorded a terrorist attack. To speak of the peace and security we have in our country has not happened by chance. It has taken deliberate policy and planning on the part of government and a lot of hard work and dedication on the part of our security services to keep our country safe and secure. He also bemoaned the impact of the Boko conflict on development in that part of the country. Whilst we're spending time, money and energy and lives keeping the country safe from external dangers, I must add that it is a matter of great concern that we continue to have so many chieftaincy and land disputes around the country, which tend to be breeding grounds for internal tensions and destabilization. Mr. Speaker, I must make special mention of the troubles in Boko. The tragedy is not only that a thriving and dynamic town is being reduced to a wasteland, a, a wasteland of destruction and distrust. We're spending money and energy that would have been better spent on development needs of Boko providing security to keep brothers and sisters from killing each other. Mr. Speaker, what should concern all of us, and not just the people of Boko, is that in its current state, Boko is an alluring magnet to mischief makers and extremists operating a few kilometers away from the border. President Ekufuado has also assured of a free fair and transparent elections come December 7, 2024. There is nothing inherently dirty or corrupt about politics. 
and nothing about elections that should generate violence. We who are in politics, and we who are members of political parties, owe it to ourselves, the institutions we, came to be, we claim to belong to, and above all, we owe it to, to Ghana and the people of Ghana to make politics and elections the serious and joyful phenomenon they should be. Government on this part will do what is expected of it to make sure that the reputation of Ghana is not damaged and the free will of the people is manifested at the end of the electoral process. And I want to reassure the people of Ghana that I'll do everything in my power to help ensure the conduct of transparent, free, and fair elections on 7th December. President Ekufuado also announced plans to roll out the performance tracker to help the government track infrastructure projects and also ensure accountability. We are calling it the performance tracker. You can check and satisfy yourself about the status of the projects and their location. And you could stop by and make a physical inspection if you were so minded. Mr. Speaker, if you want to check on roads, classroom blocks or skip compounds or Agenda 111 hospital or bridges or science laboratories or water projects or sanitation projects or landing sites and harbors and other infrastructural projects or whatever this government use your tax money to execute. The key to your query is right there on your phone. Mr. Speaker, the performance tracker will be formally launched in March, and I'm offering it as the device which will help bring accountability into your hands. With the performance tracker, we can be sure that never again, never again, Will pictures of an artist's impression be offered as projects that have been completed? 